anyone my name, it's really a request or a someone I'm calling you to come to me, like an invitation to come to me because I need you for something. Amen? Amen. So, many of us receive calls one way or another. You receive calls for a job interview, to go out for a job. Amen. Amen. When you are in the house of God, you receive a call from the pastor or from the minister to come and lead a part of the service. Yes. Praise God Almighty. But a call is an invitation. So a minister can receive a call to come to full-time minister, a call to be a pastor, a call to be a minister. So there are many kinds of call. Praise God, somebody. Praise God. Amen. So it's really an invitation to come. Now they are, I put, put them in category, two types of calling. You have the general call where God calls you from out of the world into the church to come and give your life unto him. So you come and you repent of your sins and you are baptized in his name and you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So it's a general call to come in to serve him. As, as what Acts 1 verse 8 says that but ye shall receive power for the Holy Ghost has come upon you Amen, you are called to be witnesses Amen. so that's our first call, our general call to come and serve God, to be witnesses Amen. but after that, after you have come inside of the house of God Hallelujah, you have developed a relationship with Him there is another call on your life which is a call to ministry a call to take to a different level because once you were down in here on a lowly plane but there is a call to come up higher in God there is a call to go on further in God if you want to get intimate with Him if you want to commune with God on a different level there is a call on your life That's right. I want someone on a song that's talking about praise God Almighty and you can't force yourself into a ministry where God never called you. So if God never sent you to X place or God never called you to serve in this capacity, it's bound to fail because what? You didn't receive the call from God. Amen. When Paul and Barnabas wanted to go in a certain place, praise God, the Holy Ghost forbid them because they were called to go. But praise God when they received a call to go into Macedonia. That was the call of God. So they went and God called them. Amen. And you will see success. Amen. So there is a call. And if you look on the secular world out here, you, if you do a job interview and you receive a call to go and you get this job, that's the call you got and that's where you are probably studied or something. And you wait and you do hallelujah that job because you qualify for it. So you wait and you answer that call to go into that job because that's what you have studied, that's your area of uh, what, what, you, what you know. So that's where you, have, you receive your call. But when you look inside the church of God, you realize that you too at the same have received a call. You might not know it as yet. That you have received a call from God on your life. You may not know it as yet. When you look at the example of, of David, David was a shepherd boy, so to speak. And he was in the field tending to the sheep, to the flock, because that's where he was. But little did David know that he was going to receive a call 